Along the Northern California coast, the village of Mendocino slowly awakens. It is a world far removed from San Francisco to the south, or for that matter, any city anywhere. Margaret Fox is the first to arrive at her small restaurant, Café Beaujolais. It will be a full hour before guests arrive for breakfast. I'm adamantly a morning person. That's why I have a breakfast restaurant, and I've always been like that. As the first drops of espresso appear, Margaret Fox's colleague, Christopher Kump, gathers sea urchins from the wild Pacific shore nearby. Socks, Nini, look what we've got here. Look, we'll make a nice omelet. Okay. The row of these spiny sea creatures will be used by Margaret Fox for a distinctive California breakfast omelet. Breakfast is actually, I think, the most underrated meal because people take it very much for granted. So what we try and do here is shake up people's uh, sense of what they think they know about and give them something that's really special. Margaret's refreshing ideas about breakfast, like her pancakes and spicy sausages, waffles, and of course omelets, have made Café Beaujolais a West Coast favorite. Some guests fly here just for breakfast. The sea urchin omelet has a tangy, nut-like flavor with a fresh shellfish accent. Its preparation is straightforward, but a few important secrets will be revealed as Margaret and Chris show us the steps. Wearing a garden glove for protection, Chris begins by opening the spiny sea urchin shell with special scissors. He then removes the orange colored row with a spoon. It's only practical to clean your own urchins if you live right on the coast and you can go down with a fishing license and pick them off the tide pools or if you dive with a wetsuit. It may be easier for most people to buy the row from Japanese sushi bars or groceries where it's known as uni. It has a rich flavor, tastes very, very creamy and reminds me a little bit of uh, fresh oysters actually. The roe should be coarsely chopped, then set aside till the other ingredients are ready. Did you get the chai blossoms okay? Uh-huh. Good. These include creme fraiche, lemon juice, thyme, chopped chives, and two eggs. Okay, now the creme fraiche is going to reduce a little bit. It'll probably take about a minute. Creme fraiche tastes and looks like sour cream, but has the advantage of not separating when boiled. Okay, and then I'm going to add the urchin. Cook it just for a couple of seconds. And add a little bit of lemon juice, about a teaspoon. Margaret beats two eggs with a teaspoon of water, which keeps them fluffy. She also adds pinches of salt and ground pepper. I use corn oil because it keeps the omelet from sticking in the pan. Next, she adds chives and thyme. And immediately add the eggs. Then I grab the handle and start to swirl the eggs in the pan so as to cook the entire surface on the bottom. Sometimes you need to have a wooden spatula to help you. Grab it and flip. Quickly add the sea urchin filling. And then turn it out on a plate. There you've got it. The urchin omelet has a tangy shellfish flavor that makes for a memorable breakfast. To cook one up, however, you'll have to listen to Margaret's secret about proper flipping technique. It isn't something that is impossible to master at all. You just have to be sure that 
you, uh, you hold the omelet pan and give it a jerk forward without trying to go into gymnastics to complete the flipping of the egg. You just jerk it forward and the egg completes the arc that is formed. What you have to be careful about, though, is that when you practice it, you don't do it in front of your family because everybody laughs when it hits the floor, which it inevitably does. Although Margaret and her staff use many proven French cooking techniques, the secret at Café Beaujolais is simplicity, innovation, and freshness. Order's up! Margaret and Chris grow their own herbs and vegetables, an activity which is in total harmony with the relaxed pace of life in Mendocino. Both village and restaurant attract a large number of faithful visitors, including movie stars and gourmet writers. Some have stayed on to live there. Chances are they'll encounter Margaret Fox's sea urchin omelet and want to know these master chef secrets for its preparation. So will you. One, keep the eggs light by adding a teaspoon of water while beating them. Two, Sea urchin roe should be fresh and cooked only briefly, just heated through. It can be bought at Japanese groceries, where it is called uni. Three, the creme fraiche has thickened properly when it bubbles and turns a pale yellow. And four, to flip the eggs into a classic folded omelet shape, jerk the pan forward. The pan will do the work, but if you're planning to show off, practice, practice, practice. Breakfast from Margaret Fox, Café Beaujolais, Mendocino, California. <laughs>